I really love this type of knot because there's no gingiva. I wish we could do this in real life, but it's a good reminder of what we're working around, especially with your patients that have lots of bone loss and we're working around forcations, roots, lots more anatomy, more than half the tooth is more exposed now. It's a lot more work, it's a lot more tricky. Just imagine this is all under the gum too, so this is all blind. But I wanna show you what a left and right looks like subgingivally. So this is a left, and really, as long as you use your instrument so the tip is not getting on the tooth, it's okay to use. But there is some guidelines. So this is a left in quad two buckle, and usually you can use it pretty well, like right here on the distal or here on the mesial of a tooth. The tricky thing we've seen, again, this is under the gum, so it's kind of, it's a lot tighter usually. But as we come along and we're coming wrapping around, this tip sometimes gets on that cementum that's maybe soft and we can remove some cementum, unfortunately, which is not the goal. So it's really good, instead of using your left in this buckle, we're gonna switch it to the right. So let me switch that out. And the nice thing about left and right is, again, they just have so much more, um, they're a little bit more, tech, not technique sensitive, but they're a little bit more custom to where you need to work with them, which is awesome. So now I have the right, and see I can get around this distal, and then as I come around this mesial, or the, line, the root towards the mesial, as I come around, that tip is not gonna touch the tooth. As, and then I come around, and then I can kind of angle it in towards the furcation and get that distal root, mesial root, come around and do my channeling down. So it, left and rights are awesome. There are a little bit of like, you can bend the rules when to use them, but sometimes when you're in these deep pockets, it's really good to make sure the tip is coming out of the tissue away from the tooth, you'll be able to get around those roots a little bit nicer. Okay, let's instrument this guy. So I'm gonna do my channeling, and I'm gonna go down, 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 down. Obviously I would have suction, but this isn't a human, so I don't have suction. Oh, this is a deep deposit. I'm gonna need something bulkier. So see how it's not even touching it? and I'm pretty much at max power with this green tip. It's really easy to wanna to push on it, right? And be like, okay, I'm gonna push harder and hopefully that helps. Really, that is counterintuitive because then the, the tip can't move as much, so it's not gonna remove as well. So I really, I'm gonna go, instead of trying to push through and try to figure this out, I would grab a triple bend, a power line 1000 by, or something with a, triangle on a diamond cross shape get this bulk off first and then go back with something round cross section a little bit thinner to get deeper into the pocket so don't if you feel like it's not budging and your power's up it might be good to switch your insert 